Ladies and gentlemen, it has been 10 days since Philip was officially revealed coming soon to Rise of Kingdoms, the brand new open field leadership commander. And since his kit was so simple and so easy to understand, our good friend Speco has already coded him into the latest versions of the rock battle simulator, which I'm pleased to announce has actually evolved into a brand new program since we last covered it here on the channel. It is now known as the rock murder ball tester because you can now run up to five armies against a single target so today we're going to be going over some pre-release test results for philip to see just how well he does in both 1v1 scenarios but then later in the video we're also going to throw him into a five army murder ball that swarms down a single target and we're going to compare those results to an equivalent five army lineup that doesn't have philip but instead has a full dps lineup and we're going to see if throwing philip into the five army lineup will boost the rest of your armies enough to compensate for the fact that you're using one fewer dps commanders in favor of a support commander but before we get into that of course what's going on guys cheers now before we begin if you guys appreciate pre-release information for commanders that are coming soon to rise of kingdoms drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the algorithm and consider subscribing to the channel while you're down there we're so close to 80,000 subscribers and about 69 percent of you guys are not subscribed okay now the first thing i have to do is shout out speco because he has put in so much work into the simulator since the last time we covered it here on the channel he has completely overhauled the entire simulator so that way you can now include up to five armies swarming down a single target this helps you test out things like this where you have a support commander and you can see just how much extra damage you might be dealing or extra damage you might be resisting by including a support commander as you can see here you can also set your skills to 5511 or 5515 or something along those lines which was previously a highly requested feature of the previous version of the rock battle simulator so that way people can test is it actually worth expert teasing a commander or not there's so many new things in the rock battle simulator or i should be calling it the rock murder ball tester now so i'm gonna link down below speco's patreon page which is how you can get access to the rock murder ball tester i am not affiliated with speco in any way i don't make any money off of this i'm not sponsored by him this is just such an incredible tool this is the best way to test things in rise of kingdoms outside of actually testing them in the game and of course philip is not in rise of kingdoms yet so these are pre-release results and i want you guys to know that you should not invest in fill up until you see actual in-game testing okay this is not going to supplement actual in-game testing but it uses the best known battle formulas for rise of kingdoms and speco in my mind is the number one math guy in the rise of kingdoms community at this point i don't i haven't seen anybody else that knows the formulas in and out just like speco does he is insane and you can also talk to him directly on his discord if you want if you have questions about the new murder ball tester okay with all that out of the way let's jump right into this here and we're going to cover the 1v1 battle results first which i will admit are the less exciting of the results as you might uh, be able to see right here okay this is a huo philip that lost to the nevsky joan by a pretty significant margin here however i do just want to let you guys know what some of the parameters were for these tests and as you can see you can see the talent trees on both sides here you can see the gear on both sides is the same you can see the iconic stats on both sides both of these um, armies are using the ottoman empire civilization i'm assuming a couple of different things i'm assuming one that both these armies are running the wedge formation so they get five percent extra skill damage i'm also assuming that both both of these uh, are running twilight falls so they're getting another five percent extra skill damage as well i'm also assuming both of these have 330,000 troops as you can see right here so that's an expansion plus some other things i'm also assuming that both these armies have an even spread of eight percent attack defense and health across their different armaments which of course is not i mean not all players are going to have that but i just figured that's a that's a nice even middle ground okay it's not too high but it's not too low and i'm also assuming that both of these armies have a seven seven war rune so a seven percent attack seven percent defense war rune and a 10 percent defense item has been activated for both of these armies here and we're going to go through that is the case for all the armies that we're going to be going through in this video except for if we run like a Liu Che Alex in those cases I did uh change the obviously formation bonus to a five percent normal attack and I changed the city skin to a five percent health skin but for the most part those are the testing parameters here okay and the first thing that I wanted to do 
was test Huo Philip against Nevsky Joan. And this, I'm just going to be very upfront with you guys. Philip is a supportive commander. Okay. So in one V one results, uh, he doesn't perform as well as you might expect him to, where you might want him to. And the reason that we started with Huo Philip is because I think a lot of players right now are looking to replace their Huo William. They want that William on the bench. They want something better. And I think this might be a good place to start. So as you can see for the first report here, we've got Nevsky Joan winning with 77 K remaining. We have 44.6 K sev wounds on the Huo side and 29.8 K sev wounds on the Nevsky Joan side. And by the way, I ran these tests five times per army. Okay. And I also ran the same tests with Huo William. So we'll be able to compare just how good Huo Philip is versus Huo William. Okay. So moving on to the next report here, same thing. We've got a Huo Philip loss here. We have 37 K remaining for the Nevsky Joan. Moving on, we have another Huo Philip loss, 102 K remaining for the, uh, Nevsky Joan, which is insane. Moving on another Huo Philip loss, 71 K remaining for the Nevsky Joan. And the final report here, we have another Huo Philip loss with uh 74 K remaining for the Nevsky Joan. So Nevsky Joan is, you know, honestly, a quite an old March and it is not really a dueling March. And yet it is still crushing the Huo Philip. It like not even close here. Okay. It's not even close. Huo Philip is getting destroyed. And historically, Huo is a better dueling commander than Nevsky strictly because he just deals more damage and he gets a lot of damage up front with his uh, reduced rage cost and his higher skill damage at the front end. So yeah, um, Philip is not benefiting from any of the extra skill damage, by the way, which is, well, he is a little bit on his expertise, but really, it's it's nothing crazy so with that being said if we replace the Philip with William you can see the tables completely turn right we have 58k remaining for the Huo William we have 35k remaining for the Huo William here we have 39k remaining for Huo William we have 31k almost for the Huo William and we see one victory from the Nevsky Joan this is basically a tie right we've got 6,000 remaining for the Nevsky Joan we've got almost the same number of sev wounds on both sides so really we see the Huo William performs much better against Nevsky Joan in the 1v1 scenario and that's not that surprising right you're replacing a damage dealing commander with a supportive commander okay next up i wanted to test huo philip up against the juge liang with herman prime because this is the best archer march and cavalry are supposed to counter them and yet here we see 61k remaining for the juge liang herman next battle report we see zeal herman wins again 48k remaining we see zeal herman wins again 78k remaining we see uh, once again 64k remaining and the last one 47k remaining so the Yui Leung Harmon sweeps Huo Philip just like the Nevsky Joan. And we're starting to already see a bit of a pattern here. For contrast, if we swap out the Philip for the William, then we see the Yui Leung Harmon loses by a crazy margin, 106K remaining for the Huo William. We see the next report, we have 57K remaining for the Huo William. So another victory. Here we see a win for the Yui Leung Harmon. So 13.7K remaining. Next, we see basically a tie. We have 2K remaining here. Literally, the Sevuns were off by 35 four right so like I'm gonna call that one a tie and then here we have 55k remaining for the Huo William once again so the Huo William performs much better than the Huo Philip against the Julia Young Herman in a 1v1 next let's see up against Liu Che Alex okay and we see Huo Philip loses 20k remaining for Liu Che we have uh Huo loses again 58k remaining here we see the Huo Philip actually pulls out a victory with nine 0.9 K remaining. Next, we see Huo Philip pulls out another victory, 53 K remaining. Pretty impressive stuff there. And finally, we see Liuche Alex pulls out another win with 12.8 K remaining. So we can see here that the Huo Philip does decent against the Liuche Alex. And the Liuche Alex is, again, not a very good dueling army, right? Like it is not made for dueling. That is just open and shut case. It is what it is. This Alex did have the museum relic, by the way. Um, and we see that, you know, Liuche Alex still wins a majority of them, right? It wins three out of the five. And that's not nothing but the Huo Philip did pull out two victories now if we do the Huo William we'll see the Huo William does win here with only 4.2k remaining this is almost a tie basically next we see Huo William wins again with 26k remaining here we see 2.5k remaining so again almost another tie here uh next we see 37k remaining for Huo William and the final report 69k remaining for the Luce Alex so here you can see that the randomness factor is plays a huge part right obviously 69k remaining is an insane difference in the previous reports and that's because obviously Alex 
Alex has a lot of triggers um also you'll notice that I'm not using the optimal the optimal accessories here mainly just because I forgot but also it kind of helps keeping everything consistent keeping all the accessories consistent across all the lineups uh so of course we know that you don't need a horn here right so obviously a five percent normal damage bonus from the other uh, emblem accessory would be much preferred and in the 5v5 results I did do that but in the 1v1s I it just completely lost my mind and then I just tried to keep things the same but regardless what you can see is what we're seeing across the board here which is that Huo William performs a little bit better than the Huo Phil in the 1v1 results and in some cases the Huo William performs much better like up against archers okay last of the Huo Philip reports we've got Huo Philip against Ragnar Sepia which is another very common open field meta March right now and we could see a significant uh victory for the Ragnar side we have 64.5k remaining uh once again we have 92k remaining 95k remaining 101k remaining and 130,000 remaining okay so mega victory from the Ragnar CPO here it's not even close Huo Philip gets stomped what happens if we replace Philip for William though well the Ragnar CPO loses but this is basically a tie okay I'm gonna give that a tie here we see the Huo William wins again 37 uh, basically 38k remaining Huo William wins again 10k remaining and here we see the Ragnar CPO wins 44.6k remaining and the last report 65k remaining for the Huo William so in this case the Ragnar CPO lost uh three times there was one tie and one victory for the Huo William so um I would say Huo William once again performs much better this is again I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about this but this is no surprise William deals damage Philip doesn't really deal damage so this is kind of an open and shut case uh 1v1s which you're never gonna do in the real world but Huo William is significantly better here now the other commander that I wanted to test Philip with here for the 1v1s was Shajar because she was also a commander that a lot of people talked about as a potential pairing here because there is some synergy so you can see down here the different uh equipment that I used and everything the talent builds all that stuff and here we can test up against Liu Che Alex and we can see a mega victory for the Shajar Philip this shouldn't be surprising considering that Shajar deals crazy single target damage and uh we have archers going up against a non-dueling infantry march 145k remaining really remember with Shajar you you've got somebody healing there on the kit even if she is primary and so you want to make sure that uh the sev wounds are in her favor as well as the troops remaining next up we have another huge victory for Shajar Philip here we have another massive victory for Shajar she'll 100 and 120k remaining guys 119k remaining this is not even close 125k remaining Shajar Philip absolutely claps Liu Che Alex but what happens if we replace the Philip with YSG right would Shajar YSG just perform even better the answer is probably uh we have 155k remaining for the Shajar YSG we have 159k remaining for Shajar YSG 156k 168k 171k remaining for the Shajar YSG so yes Shajar Philip crushes Liu Che Alex in a 1v1 but Shajar YSG would be better okay so in this case once again we see replacing YSG with Philip is actually a downgrade okay next I tested Shajar Philip against Ragnar CPO and once again we have 55k remaining 69k remaining 76k remaining 16k remaining and 52 53k remaining for the Shajar Philip so this is another easy clean sweep for the Shajar Philip here but if we put YSG in there we have 105k remaining 62k remaining 67k remaining 85k remaining and 100 128k remaining so once again we can see that Shajar YSG is the better play for at least going up against infantry next we have Shajar Philip against Nevsky Joan and we see a loss here 89k remaining for the Nevsky Joan absolute crushed it here next we have a win for the Shajar Philip except they took more sev wounds right so really I wouldn't call that a win I would call that a loss because you actually traded worse right you lost more power your hospital bill is higher so even though the enemy died you're on the field but you 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 paid for it okay uh next up we've got another victory here for the Nevsky Joan next up 60k remaining for Nevsky Joan next up uh 47.5k remaining for Nevsky Joan so all in all Nevsky Joan claps the Shajar Philip across the board what happens if we put in YSG here we can see the Shajar YSG wins pretty close on the sev wounds but 39k remaining we have 49.5k remaining for the Shajar YSG here we have 36k remaining for Shajar YSG 66k remaining for Shajar YSG and 36.5k remaining for Shajar YSG so once again we have 
shifted from losing every single time to winning every single time by just benching the Philip and using the YSG using the damage per second March and yes YSG does have the museum relic here okay so the conclusion we can come to with Philip is that in 1v1s he sucks and that's no question because he was supposed to do support now some people were questioning like if you use a single troop type with him one of his skills gives him 30 percent all damage which is kind of crazy he also gives you a lot of stats so some people were thinking myself included that maybe he would do solid on his own but realistically in a duel you just want both commanders to deal as much damage as possible and of course Philip is not doing that so uh, I didn't do any more testing in 1v1s because it doesn't matter the results are clear he's not good for 1v1s he's not a DPS March you really have to test him for his supportive nature how does he work in a murder ball and that's where this brand new rock murder ball testing comes into play so as you can see here we have the pilferer from rise of kingdoms okay he's part of that event where he runs around and the more you damage you deal to him the more gold that you get uh basically speco has coded him into the rock battle simulator and you can choose five armies to basically just beat him down and he has infinite troops and we can see basically how much damage he takes over a set period of time how much damage each of your armies took from normal and counterattack damage how much each army itself dealt to the enemy and each of these armies you can set the talent builds the equipment the skill levels all the iconics everything that you want and so this new murder ball tester is actually insane for people who want to go super in depth picking the best possible five army lineup for you because you can pick all of your exact gear all of your exact skill levels all of your exact iconics you can put in everything that you have on your account here uh, and test what the best possible murder ball lineup is for you now unfortunately you can only do five armies from what I can tell so we can't do a six or seven lineup test result here but we can draw some very important conclusions so what I wanted to do first was run five tests six minutes each of basically the meta pairings that I have here and we're gonna see how much damage is dealt to the enemy AI and I added up how much all, all the damage we took from each uh, for each of these armies and what we're going to do is find a ratio how much damage did we deal compared to how much damage did we take okay and that's going to give us a good idea as to across the board um what is Philip actually doing and this is going to be our baseline because as you can see here we have the William okay we've got the William with the Huo and so I took all of the data from the five tests that I did and remember these were each six minute tests okay so we were just pounding on this target for six minutes straight okay that's 360 battle turns each and here we can see the amount of damage dealt for each of the tests and and the average is 21 million 248 thousand and I added up all of the amount of damage taken from each of the five armies and it was 700 and uh, on average 783,800 okay so if we do the ratio on average we're dealing 27.11 damage dealt per damage taken okay so 27 to 1 is like insane that's really great and then next what I wanted to do is and remember this is Huo William okay so this is like a regular five army lineup this is Huo William Nevsky Joan Liu Che Alex Ragnar our CPO and Zhuge Liang with Herman Prime okay the only thing that's going to be changing is the March that I show in the top uh, left corner every other March is the same and if you guys want to test different lineups by all means you can do it with the uh, battle simulator down below but what I wanted to do next was replace the Huo William with Huo Philip because that will effectively remove a DPS commander in the form of William and replace it with the supportive nature of Philip and while that one March may perform worse which we've already confirmed in this video um it may be so supportive that it actually supports the rest of your armies enough to compensate for that okay so let's slide on over here to the huo philip results and what we can see is that on average your total damage dealt goes down uh you have 20 million seven hundred seventy six thousand however your total damage taken also goes down seven hundred and sixty four thousand and so at the end of the day you end up with a very similar ratio you are your, your ratio goes up by 0.31 percent okay so from 27.11 to 27.19 so the difference here is basically negligible this can be kind of chalked up to RNG um, perhaps if I ran even more tests or even longer tests we would see a bigger fluctuation or maybe it would balance out to be basically null and void okay so from what we can see here if you're running five armies okay and you were considering benching your William for Philip it would not necessarily be worth 690 legendary commander sculptures especially Especially when you consider the fact that we are hitting only one target okay 
and that means that you're losing the damage from the William not just against that one target but in, a, in an actual murder ball you'd be hitting up to three targets with William right and it's also worth noting that like if we look at Philip's kit right like he is giving your armies more damage right it's all damage and he has a chance to pop that more often with his vagina and so while it is the case that in a real murder ball that 20 percent extra all damage um is going to be even more meaningful because the other armies remember all the other armies we talked about were aoe armies besides the uh, alexander the great basically they're all going to benefit even more from that all damage because they're going to be hitting more targets and they're also going to be taking damage from more target targets as well um so really it's like will he be even better in the real testing results probably slightly but i don't know if it's i don't know if it's like super obvious that replacing one for the other would be a slam dunk case okay let's move on to my next test results here and that was shajar ysg okay so the other four armies are remaining exactly the same again we have juvie leung with herman we have nevsky joan we have liu che alex and we have ragnar sepio okay those are all the same here we're replacing the huo william or huo philip with shajar ysg or shajar philip okay and in this case we can see the total damage dealt is 20 million five hundred thousand we took seven hundred and nine thousand damage and so this is actually a tankier army even though it's dealing less damage right uh before we were dealing we were taking sorry seven hundred eighty three thousand damage across all of our armies and with that shajar in there we're taking 709 now it's also important to know that shajar is she's healing right and unfortunately here we're looking at just damage we're not looking at troops we're looking at damage and so we can't see the actual battle reports for each of the individual armies so it's worth noting that while you're taking less damage you're still going to be healing some so it, it's not as it's not as great as you think but it does turn out to be the case that the ratio is better okay you are much tankier here even though you're dealing less damage and so you're dealing 28.95 damage dealt per damage received and so that is an even better ratio what happens if we replace the YSG however with the Philip that's the question of the video right and what we can see here is once again it does perform better you see you're dealing less damage but you're further reducing the damage you take by even more and so all in all you're dealing 29.79 damage per damage taken and that is an improvement of 2.9 percent so once again uh, this looks great on paper but keep in mind that you're losing the YSG who is an AoE commander and so he will be dealing much more damage in real world testing than here and so again it's a small improvement however I'm not super convinced that this would be an actual like game changer okay next just for fun I did something a little different I replaced the Shajar with uh Ashurbanipal because I was just curious like is Shajar better or is Ashurbanipal better here it turns out that if you compare the two the Ashurbanipal deals a little bit more damage it also takes uh significantly more damage but again in the real world you have to remember that you are going to be hitting five targets with that Ashurbanipal right so it's a pretty close ratio here but you're losing the healing factor from Shajar and so while the ratio is technically lower than the Shajar YSG I think that your trades would be much better in the real world with Ashurbanipal YSG and that's kind of been my recommendation for a long time now Ashurbanipal YSG is probably the second best uh Archer March if you're running two archers in my opinion so um here I think that the data will support that once you factor in the fact that you would be doing a lot of healing with Shajar okay with that being said I didn't do Ashurbanipal with Philip I don't think anybody was considering doing that that doesn't make any sense so I just was running this to test it against the Shajar but anyway what I wanted to do next was something a little bit unconventional I wanted to actually completely bench the fifth March as a potential DPS March okay so in these cases we've been running Philip with Huo or with Shajar both of those are single target damage dealing DPS marches right um with a supportive secondary next I wanted to just bench them completely right keep the other same four armies okay and we'll bring in a Trajan Mulan let's run a Trajan Mulan for the fifth army and see how this does and what you'll notice is that your damage actually goes up okay remember what I just showed you this is Ashurbanipal YSG overall total damage and your overall total damage for the Trajan Mulan is 22.8 million it's actually much higher okay your damage dealt is much higher and your damage taken is slightly lower than the Ashurbanipal YSG um all while dealing more damage so what we can discover here is that the Trajan Mulan is actually super supportive but once again we have to keep in mind that in a real murder ball there is multiple armies that you're going to be hitting with all the aoe from all your different commanders and so from a supportive nature it's like that will help you even more but also 
you know that's it really is points against the Trajan Mulan because the Trajan Mulan is not dealing nearly as much damage as something like an Ashurbanipal Paul YSG and so in again in this test result we have to take it with a grain of salt because yes this is the best ratio that we've seen so far but when you look at like do people actually run Trajan Mulan in the real world in any scenario the answer is no at least in a five army lineup right you never see in a five army lineup but you do see it in the uh, seven army lineup still and here I think the data supports that the support of nature of Trajan Mulan is great but in a real world scenario it's not going to perform as good as we see here and so we have to take this with a grain of salt but the reason that I ran this test was actually not to test whether it's better than running five DPS marches the reason that I ran this was because what if you run Trajan Philip right is Trajan Philip actually better than Trajan Mulan or should you just run the Trajan Mulan if you were considering doing so right again I want to be very clear I'm not telling you to run these armies in a five army lineup we can only test five armies here if I could do a seven army lineup I would have done that instead but anyway the answer is that the Trajan Philip is actually an improvement here compared to the uh Trajan Mulan which is actually a very big deal this is a very big deal for players running seven armies okay what you can see is that your damage dealt um is slightly improved very slightly improved but what you really love is the damage taken goes down significantly and that makes your ratio even higher about 2.89 percent higher so again nothing insane but it is better so the outcome of these tests shouldn't be that surprising at the end of the day so what did we actually learn okay what we learned is that um 1v1 Phillips trash and that's expected he's a support commander we also learned that if you replace a DPS commander with Philip in a five army lineup you are much more supportive you take less damage it turns out to be a little bit positive but in the real world you're going to be you know ideally hitting more targets than you would in this result and so it's not such a crazy improvement that it would actually be worth doing and in fact I would recommend probably not doing it right I would probably still run the Huo William over the Huo Philip I would probably still run the Shajar YSG over the Shajar Philip that is my uh conclusion that I can come to in a five army lineup okay but the real conclusion here is that the Trajan Philip was the best performing March in a it was the best performing result in a five army lineup and what we can learn from that is that the Trajan Philip is better than the Trajan Mulan and so the Philip is actually useful as a supportive commander with Trajan in a scenario where you are running Trajan and what scenario is that it's a seven army lineup you may still be running Trajan in a seven army lineup and I think that the reports here show that if you were to put your Trajan with Philip you would see an increase in performance across all of your different armies and so what we can learn here is that Philip is not as exciting as I was hoping unfortunately however he is basically and and when you really think about it this is no surprise he is basically falls in the same bucket as Shajar as Belisarius Prime as William Wallace right he falls in the same bucket as the rest of the ninth generation commanders in that he is a slight improvement over what is already currently meta but is not a must-have commander unless you're running f seven armies right with a Trajan um if you're running seven armies with Trajan you should get Philip I think he's great you should probably run him with Trajan you'll probably perform a little bit better there and I think you won't be disappointed of course he's probably going to be part of the Canyon meta with Trajan I think so that that's something to look forward to as well he performs great with that mixed army for Trajan but at the end of the day that's kind of the only player right that I think or that I am expecting to benefit from Philip at this point after looking at these results okay his damage isn't really what we want it to be uh his support of nature is better than you know what we've seen historically but really we're not running uh support commanders in, in five army lineups anyway right and so what he is is a slight improvement over existing support armies and so if you're running a support army in a six or seven army lineup then Philip is great other than that though uh Philip looks like he might be a little bit underwhelming in the field which you know isn't I mean really it's not that surprising now that we think about it right he's a support commander and support is just not the meta right now and his kit is not good enough to compensate for that fact there's just so many other commanders in the field that are doing so much damage that the only way you can really justify using Philip is 
in that seven army lineup with Trajan, maybe six, depending on how your gear looks. It's also worth noting that when I ran him with Trajan, I ran him with full leadership gear, right? So like, if you don't have that, then it's like your, your results might be even worse. And in which case, maybe you just don't run the Trajan anyway. So that's kind of the conclusion that I'm coming to here. That is my new expectation for Philip is that he will be a micro optimization for those seven army lineup whales, a little bit unfortunate, but not that surprising. And for those of you that don't have the gold sculptures to invest in Philip, well then great news. Turns out you probably won't need him anyway so great news for free to play players great news for low spenders and if you're a whale looking for something new to add to your seven army lineup and you've got that trajan this actually might be great for you as well so all in all i think that philip is going to do what he was meant to do he was meant to support and i think that those players that are running the support armies will actually want philip but in a five army lineup probably not going to want him but of course you do want to make sure that we see real world test results because again this was up against one single target so in a real world murder ball scenario philip's support of nature Nature could be scaled exponentially in ways that I we can't actually know until we see it and so he might actually outperform what we see in this in this uh simulation testing so my expectations for him are a bit lower than they were on reveal and I think that the rock battle simulator or the rock myrtle ball tester has never been more uh, thorough and better than it than it is right now and so um I do trust these real results from speco so I'm excited for this new testing tool that we have here from speco and I think that you know Philip being a great supportive commander for a seven army lineup is a good expectation to have and not running him in a five army lineup is also a pretty good expectation to have because again we're already not running Trajan in a five army lineup with that being said guys if you made it all the way to the end of this video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton of helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it and while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time that I upload a rise of kingdoms video comment down below your thoughts on Philip do you appreciate the way that I tested him here or do you think that it's way off let me know in the comment section below are you still excited for Philip do you think you're gonna run him in your five army do you think you're gonna run him into your seven army lineup let me know in the comment section below and while you're down there also consider supporting speco over on patreon again i am not affiliated with him i'm not sponsored by him i don't make any money off of this it's just such a great tool he's put in so many countless hundreds and hundreds of hours into making this tool as best as possible for you guys and again he's added a ton of features that you guys have been asking for testing 5511 commanders 5551 commanders testing five army lineups against a single target like this new murder ball tester is absolutely incredible so definitely support speco down below i'll have his patreon and everything down there with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been on the archival talk to you guys again soon peace